hello guys in the previous video we created a database on 000webhost.com so now we need to create a table in php my admin my sql table and add some data okay so to do that we're going to go here at the menu go to tools and database manager so this is our database okay here you can create another database so this is the one we created earlier so you do manage manage db okay to take us to php my admin where you create a my sql table okay here we are databases go to databases mm -hmm. you can create a new one here you can say no we already created the database so what we do is we select the database that that we already have okay so what we can do is to create a table this is how we do that you can call it anything let's you know randomly name it xxxx okay column should be anything you want depending on what information you want to get from user or what information you want to display so let's give it a three column and go okay here first column should be name second column email third column phone So here we're going to set all type all of the type to test okay length and values should be 20 okay we are going to leave the rest without touching them go to save Okay, the table has been created. We can we can uh, open the table that we created. We can go to browse. This is the last table we created. There's nothing in it, so we're going to go here and insert content in it. So name. We're going to write name. I'll go ahead and write my name, email, I should write this, and phone, I'm going to write that. we are done we click on go okay here you see that the data had been added to the table you see uh, this is sql run sql query query on table this is the data light worker email and phone number so we have successfully done that in the next video we're going to now connect this to our app directly and display this data that is in this mysql table on our sketchware app okay um yeah not just that we're going to also use a php code to do 
something get the data and um, convert it to JSON and then and um, then get the JSON um, um, file uh, information JSON, JSON data then we'll get it convert it to map and then display it on our sketchware app okay that is on the next video see you then